attention please <laughs> The start of the destruction has begun. As you can see, I got the strings off, got the bridge off, got the string pharaohs that were on the back of the guitar taken off because I have a new package of them I'm going to install. I have to drill out the holes that are already in the back of the guitar to put the new pharaohs in. They're a little bit bigger than the old ones. But the old ones don't have any type of a knurl around the edge or around the sides of them to lock them in place. The new ones do. So I'm going to have to measure and drill and countersink them a little bit. Now, anyways, there was a comment before on the last video about the neck having some breakout in it. Well, let me turn the light on a little bit and kind of get in there. No, there's no breakout or chip out or whatever on the top of the neck. It's just very, very dry. So I took a little bit of the Dunlop and put on the Q-tip and let it soak in a little bit in there. And I'll end up putting a little bit more. So as you can see, the neck is pretty dirty, or the fretboard. It's got some shit all over it and stuff, and got to clean that out. I'm going to have to scrub it. Truss rod works. I already straightened out the neck with my little fretboard straightener, or ruler, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's a two-way truss rod, four mil, and really no problem. So i got to remove the tuners on here because I want to clean this headstock really, really good. And I'm going to take the neck off the guitar and I'm going to work on the body and the neck separately because I want to get this spooge or whatever that's over here off of it. But all in all, I mean, other than a couple of chips on the body and the back of the body, the rest of this thing should be pretty damn good. And uh, these guys here stayed in place, didn't fall off. And there's like, yeah, she's dirty. So I'm going to start that process. You can watch. You cannot watch. It's up to you. So let's get to it. Alright, so the process has begun. Let me try to wiggle this camera a little bit here. There you go. Try to make it a little bit better. Alright, so the process has begun. The body of the guitar is number eight, and so is the neck itself. It has a number eight on there, and it has a serial number stamped in it as well. Now, the problem with this is, is the screws that were inside of, that were mounting the neck to the body, uh, were very, very loose. I kind of snug them up a little bit, and it seemed like they were stripped out. So I did find some bigger diameter. They're not chrome, but Larger diameter, a little bit longer, so I'm going to have to like cut off the tip of this a little bit so it doesn't go through the fretboard on the other side. But I'll check that out before I mount the fretboard back to the body of the guitar. So let's get cleaned up around here a little bit. I'm not going to use acetone to clean this fretboard because I'm a little bit worried about what acetone might do to the plastic or whatever these are made of on these inlays and uh, so I'm just going to use a little bit of lighter fluid to clean this thing up so no smoking please otherwise things go all right so squirt a little bit of this on here and start cleaning this up a little bit after this is all done I will check the frets themselves to make sure that everything is still good as far as not having any troubles with being like you know high and low frets no smoking please otherwise things go now I don't want to pour this directly onto the fretboard I know this evaporates pretty quickly but I don't want to I don't want the wood to swell up too much and make the frets kind of move. I know rosewood's pretty hard, but so as you can see, you know, I'm getting some crap off of this. 
I think the further I go down the line, the more I'm going to get off of this thing. Like I said, the frets aren't too bad. I mean, you can see some marks in the frets, but eh, maybe, maybe a light fret leveling. There is like a little bit of a notch right there in that fret, so. Kind of fucking dirty. Mm -hmm. Zippo lighter fluid. Smells good. Now I have my camera above the work table, and um, the microphones that are on the camera are they're picking me up good. That's great. If not, sorry. <coughs> there is a exhaust fan on in this room as well so if you're kind of hearing that I apologize the exhaust fan circulates air inside here because there is a window but their window is not, is sealed shut so it cannot be opened and otherwise there is not much circulation of air inside this room yeah so get this shit off of here Now I don't want to oil the fretboard after I do this because of the fact that I'm going to end up doing a leveling job on this neck and uh, I need something for the tape to stick to and if I oil this fretboard the tape may not stick. So I'm moving to a different area of the rag each time I go along. Try to get as close to the fret as possible. And we'll put some pressure where the uh, each edge of the fret is. This way. Oh, and by the way, too, the microphones on this camera are stereo. So left and right. If I'm on the left or the right side of the camera, it might pick me up more on those sides. Like right now, I'm on. I don't know what is it, the right side of the camera. So, you know, this was pretty dirty. So I'm going to go over it again. The whole neck. Get up underneath the... Real close to that nut. Nut seems to be okay. I'm not going to do anything with that unless the action height is, is really, really low. But it felt like it was kind of high to me. It's getting a little bit, not as dark as it was before. So, it is cleaning it. Thought about maybe using the acetone, but I know that they use acetone for making uh, binding stick, the plastic binding or PVC binding, whatever it's made out of. And I'm not too sure if this is a plastic or if this is made out of something else, these inlays, so I'm not going to test with the acetone and get them all sticky. So that's why I'm using this shit. Get ready, this is about to get heavy. So the neck's gonna look pretty good after it's oiled. You kind of see with the lighter fluid that Uh, you can see a difference between uh, a little bit of difference these three here where I started rubbing and then the old ones here so yeah that neck is got some shit on it that's for sure and it's getting cleaner as dirty as it was before. Get 
clean spot on the rack. I know it's kind of a waste of Zippo lighter fluid, huh? Sorry, I haven't used a Zippo in years. I think I still have a couple laying around. Or well, old Harley, I suppose. dirty anymore if I go over it with a dry rag. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. So yeah, there's really no chip out right here. It's basically um, very, very dry. I mean, the, where the wood's kind of cracking where it was dry at, but there's no chip out. So that's kind of nice. And there don't seem to be any chip out on the rest of this neck. So that's it for the cleaning of that. Got to get some more lighter fluid soon. So I'm going to check this neck out again, just laying here. Make sure nothing has changed as far as being straight or flat. All right, that's good. So I'm going to use my rocker here. bit high right here a little bit high right here Well, it seems like it's not bad, other than removing this little notch right here in the uh, fret itself, but the rest of it's not bad, and looks a hundred times better than what it did as far as uh, before I cleaned it. Now it's just kind of dry. So, that's it for this one. I'm going to uh, remove the tuners and mask shit up so I can do a level job on it. So, here we go again. <laughs>